Uh, you probably can't see it but way back down right there there's two tiny little swing targets and we'll try to hit them from here it's a pretty good distance so i just want to make sure that this is more or less on target farther than the like 15 feet that i was shooting at Alright, most of those I hit, and the ones I did, and I can tell that was me missing them. So, I got this thing sighted in pretty good. Alright, now move back a little bit more, and let's try shooting from our rest. But not least, the one that got stuck and didn't go off. I can tell some of those are hitting the wood that those little swingers are hanging on. So it's close enough. And considering the crazy distance that this is for a red dot and me who has never shot a red dot before or any type of optic. And I'll just go down there and show you the size of that steel. It's not very big. So first off, I'm a terrible judge of distance, but I want to say it's got to be at 200 feet. So 
for 22 and me who's never shot an optic before or a red dot i don't think that's too bad and also considering this is the size of the steel that i was shooting there's my hand um, let's see maybe i wasn't hitting it maybe i was hitting something else but you can tell i was hitting it by the way this is all spalled up yeah I dare say that's not bad, considering I'm a very much an amateur shooting cheap, the cheapest 22 ammo I could find, with the cheapest 22 I could find, with the just about the cheapest optic I could find, with the cheapest swinger I could build, and again, no experience. So I think uh, I dare say I am the best marksman on YouTube. humble much anyway i guess i'll go back to a place where there's not a whole bunch of frogs and annoying annoying sounds and we'll talk about the red dot that i put on this 22 And so that is the Crimson Trace. Whatever the uh, model number is, I'll just probably put that, sprinkle that somewhere around here. But yeah, I mean, considering I have no experience with red dots, I don't know if this is trash or not. Had a good weight to it. Sighting it in wasn't that hard. I read a couple reviews on, I wanna say it was in the YouTube comments or maybe it was on um, Palmetto State Armory where I got this saying that it was impossible to sight in and they just couldn't get it to sight in, but I didn't have no trouble. The dot is relatively bright. And again, I have no point of reference to say that it isn't. Let me get this on camera. It's right here. Come on, focus. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's turn it on. Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see the dot? I see it. I see it on you. Pointing right at your forehead. Bang! One thing I didn't mention, people were complaining about, um, there was no, uh, instructions in the little manual of how to adjust this, which way was, um, like up, down, left, right. I mean, it's a screw. You screw it down, the dot goes down. You unscrew it the dot comes up i mean it's not rocket science i mean i'm an idiot and i was homeschooled and i figured it out what's wrong with y'all <laughs> so far i'm happy with my cheap little 30 dollar well, i think it was 40 for shipping red dot and the nine dollar picatinny to weaver mount although i did have to uh modify the mount a little bit because the top of this is rounded so i had to take a angle grinder and grind it down a little bit so you know who wants you know the best accuracy i mean it's weaver mount and all this junk it's a 22 anyway i think that's just about it for this thing might paint it probably not going to because i'm lazy but anyway with all that being said be safe with firearms and have yourself a nice day